Item SCP-73, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-73, is to be kept in a two-to-room cell furnished with all non-organic furniture and items, and a bathroom. Subject is allowed to freely wander the facility and eat in the main canteen. A tracking device has been attached to SCP-73's person and is not to be removed. Subject is disallowed any contact with the surface and is not allowed outside the facility. Subject is allowed no contact with plant-based desks under any circumstances. Violence is not to be used against SCP-73 under any circumstances. SCP-73 is currently kept in Site-17. Description, SCP-73 appears to be a heavily tanned male of Arab or Middle Eastern descent in his early 30s, 185 chem 6 inch all and 75 cage 165 pounds, with black hair and blue eyes. Arms, legs, spinal cord, and shoulder blades of the subject appear to have been replaced with artificial versions of unknown make and metal. Subject only takes notice of this when it is pointed out, and states that it has no knowledge of how, why, or when these replacements took place, stating it had had them as long as it could remember. There is a symbol engraved into the forehead of the subject, which appears to be of Sumerian origin. Symbol has of yet been untranstalled, and subject appears distressed when the symbol is mentioned at all, refusing to speak on it. Subject does need to eat and drink on a regular basis, but is strictly carnivorous owing to its effect on plant-based items. SCP-73, who refers to itself as Cain, is generally polite and genial to all who speak to it, though it has been described as being cold and somewhat mechanical in its speech. It is very helpful and enjoys aiding personnel in their daily actions, whatever they may be. It has highly detailed knowledge of ancient to recent events in history and most commonly spoken languages in the world, including ones that have since died out. Subject has professed to having a photographic memory, remembering word for word all text in an 800-page dictionary that was flicked through in a minute and a half. It has scored above average in all intelligence tests given to it. SCP-73's presence is inimical to any and all life grown in soil, causing death to any such life within a 20-20 meter radius. Any land SCP-73 has walked on and any within the 20-20 meter radius becomes barren as all anaerobic bacteria dies, rendering the soil incapable of supporting life until new bacteria are introduced. Anything that is derived from soil-grown life, such as wood and paper, immediately rots and disintegrates upon touch of SCP-73. Further affected derivatives include anything hydroponically grown. Violence directed towards SCP-73 reflects any damage inflicted on SCP-73 directly back onto the attacker, although SCP-73 visibly remains unharmed. This applies to any damage directed at SCP-73. Attempts to get tissue and blood samples have proven futile. When the procedure was initiated, personnel carrying out the action felt the sensation of whatever was applied to SCP-73 and wound up with a sample of their own blood or tissue, despite the fact that all actions were directed solely at SCP-73. Indirect damage through a medium also results in the person perpetrating the action receiving the wounds caused. Although SCP-73 receives no actual harm from damage to its person, it has stated that it still feels the pain of the action and has politely asked researchers to abstain from overly harmful actions to its person. Additional notes SCP-73 was found in the New York Police Department in 19 redacted, having been taken in after subject had been found amidst the bodies of several violent gang members SCP-73 told police members that the gang had attempted to make sport of it, but became angry and attempted to kill SCP-73, resulting in their own demise SCP-73 was incarcerated and was deemed a John Doe when Nipt could not find any information on it. SCP-73 came to the attention of the Foundation through a routine inspection of John Doe's and was subsequently released into our custody. Addedum 73-1, in light of SCP-73's indestructible nature, photographic memory, and general will to please, High Command have deemed that all information is to be backed up on SCP-73, ensuring it is not lost in the event of a catastrophe. While this action has met with mixed responses, SCP-73 has agreed and sworn itself to secrecy on its part.